Well, for Michael Jordan, his legendary stature begins here at the University of North Carolina. Interestingly enough, when Michael came into college, he wasn't thought of as going to be the savior to North Carolina. North Carolina was already number one team in the nation. So all of a sudden he comes into this talented team where he could develop and learn his skills and learn his craft. And I think that was the best thing for him. The game between North Carolina and Georgetown. This game is so important because you have three top 75 players playing in this game. Patrick Ewan was probably the premier player in college basketball, uh, along with James Worthy. Uh, and now you're adding Michael Jordan to the mix. Michael became a focal point with inside of the game that I don't know if Georgetown was aware of or was ready for. I think Michael Jordan hitting that game winning shot propelled him uh, into a great stratosphere of confidence. This is where he honed his skills to become the greatest basketball player that we've ever seen. Well, New Orleans is buzzing tonight with the national championship in the Superdome. Now, let's go over to tonight's public address announcer, Tommy Edwards. Fans, welcome to the college championship game. Today's matchup, the Georgetown Warriors and the North Carolina Tar Heels. For Georgetown, at power forward, standing six foot eight, number 12, Harold McCray. North Carolina, starting at point at six feet three, number 32, Adam Barnett. For Georgetown, at shooting guard, at six feet three, number 14, Roy Duncan. For North Carolina, starting at the small forward, at six foot six inches, number 51, Greg Bacon. For Georgetown, at the other forward position, at six foot six inches, number 31, John Nash. For North Carolina, the man in the middle, number 41. 6'9", 224 pound sophomore from Brooklyn, New York, Sam Perkins. For Georgetown at guard, number 21, 6'3", 170 pound senior from Gastonia, North Carolina, Eric Croy. For North Carolina at guard, number 23, 6'5", 189 pound freshman from Wilmington, North Carolina, Michael Young. For Georgetown, the man in the middle, number 33, 7 feet, 220 pound freshman from Cambridge, Massachusetts, Pat Ewing. For North Carolina at forward, Number 52, 6'9", 219 pound junior from Gastonia, North Carolina, James Murphy. Welcome everyone to the Dome here in New Orleans. It's the 1982 National Championship game. The Georgetown Hoy is facing off with the North Carolina Tar Heel. With Clark Kellogg, Coach Mike Fratello, and our reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Mike, both of these teams featuring incredible freshmen. For North Carolina, guard Michael Jordan has been fantastic. Averaging about 13 points per game, shooting well over 50% from the field. Jordan is a big game player. And for the Hoyas, Clark, the seven-foot freshman, Pat Ewing, leads the way. And you know what, Kevin, defensively, I don't know if I've seen anybody better than Ewing. Controls the paint, protects the rim, and you can be assured that Pat Ewing is going to make it tough for Carolina to score the ball inside. 
And, and even as a freshman, he will have an impact on this game. Yeah, I agree. In the Hoyas backcourt, Sleepy Floyd and Roy Duncan with John Nash and Harold McRae at the forward. And star Pat Ewing is the five. For UNC, it's Adam Barnett and Michael Jordan at the guard spots. At forward, Craig Bacon and All-American James Worthy. And Sam Perkins is the center. These schools' talented freshmen, they will have a lot to say about who wins tonight. Here we go. And it's the Hoyas to start out. Here's Floyd. Duncan outside. And stolen by Jordan. To the paint. Here's Worthy. And Ewing sends it back. Let's see how that early block from Ewing changes North Carolina's game plan. Pat is such a force. Here's Worthy. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Worthy's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Tar Heels. Clark Ewing and Jordan. Incredible freshman talents in different ways. Yeah, you know, Kevin, Ewing's MO is to dominate the inside defensively. Rebounding and blocking shots, rim protecting, scoring near the hoop. Jordan is looking to get his by shooting and slashing. Play lockdown perimeter D. Boy, it's a joy to watch both of these guys play, and I can't wait to see them get after it. I can't wait either. Here's Worthy. Here's Barnett. Banked in off the glass. Worthy able to drop dimes, and the team success he recognizes is his success as well. Duncan outside. Here's Floyd. Back to Duncan. Jordan with the steal. Clark and Mike, as we know, two big rule differences between the college and NBA game. No three-point line in NCAA basketball. And Clark, no shot clock as well. Yeah, I think those rules, Kevin, favor teams that focus on the inside play. Guys like Pat Ewing. It also rewards those teams that are patient. Teams like UNC who are prone to play a delay game at times. Passes to Worthy. And he comes up with the deuce. Look at the footwork. Plenty of time for Worthy to develop. Already showing a great skill set. That was the 2K drive. As that move deserved another look. Aggressive take there to get inside. Looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Nash outside. And there's the pass to McCray. And James Worthy gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And you can see they're taking their time on this trip. Here's Floyd. In his last game for the Hoyas, Sleepy Floyd is hoping to lead his school to a title. You know, before this weekend, none of these guys have played in a dome. It's hard to shoot in these places, Clark. Yeah, you know, I think sometimes, Mike, that's a tad overrated, but there is something to the fact that your depth perception is a little bit off. You can't really simulate what it's like in a dome. So I think you look for these teams to really attack and not settle for jump shots. Poke loose and stolen by Jordan. And here we go. Worthy heading to the hoop. Extra emphasis from Worthy looking to avenge that title loss last year. Great hands there. Jordan's anticipation on the defensive end. Huge for North Carolina. And here are the Hoyas now, trailing by two. Nash outside. Here's Floyd. Barnett covering. They get the rebound, and Jordan sends it back. If you want to win an NCAA title, you need plays like that from Jordan. Effort on the defensive end. 
And a dream deferred. The Tar Heels back once again in this championship game. For more, let's go to our championship sideline reporter, David Ulrich. Thanks very much. When you think about North Carolina, they are seeking their first national title in 25 years. They've been so close so many times. Four times they were national runners-up, including last year. Sam Perkins and James Worthy are back from that team. They each said they learned a lot from last year's run in the tournament. Kevin? Thank you, D.A. And for the Tar Heels, Mike, tonight, the X Factor might be a freshman. This Michael Jordan kid is special. He lives for these big moments. Told me he wished he could have played last year. Might have been a different result. Stage doesn't seem too big for him, does it, Mike? Never. Well, this UNC team, they're known for their delay game. Without a shot clock, they'll hold the ball late, which in turn will shorten the games. And you know, Mike, that style's worked extremely well for them this season. North Carolina has won 15 straight games and overall 31 and 2. Here's Jordan. And the Tar Heels get it back. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. So smooth in everything he does. Worthy is absolutely worthy of all the accolades he receives. The Tar Heels shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And that one misses. Good on the second free throw. You know, we'll see how Worthy deals with being at the line with the championship hanging in the balance. Tongue in cheek. Not too much pressure. Nash, the pass to Ewing. And out of bounds, and the Tar Heels will take it. And so here now, North Carolina. Here's Barnett. Right side worthy. Green with the block. Down low, here's Nash. Lays it up off the glass. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Our heels leading by three. Here's Barnett. Pass to Worthy to the inside. Inside. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Exactly the play you expect from Worthy in a high stakes game. I mean, giving everything he has and able to get the and one chance as a result. Davis has checked in for Green. The Hoy is trail by six. Weber, the pass to Ewing. Here's Bailey. And here's Weber. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Ewing. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And it's North Carolina's ball. Is Caldwell. Jordan looking it over. And Ewing with the block. You can tell Ewing eager to block shots, and his reach, timing, and jumping ability can often make it look easy. That's good, and the Tar Heels lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Bailey. Georgetown center Pat Ewing, the seven foot freshman sensation, was born in Jamaica. Played lots of soccer and cricket as a youngster. His family moved to Boston for high school, and the rest is history. Good Ooh. work there as it goes. Michael Jordan's Jordan. got the lead up to six now for the Tar Heel. James Worthy. Nash with it. On the wing, Ewing. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And naturally, Coach, when the Ewings moved to Boston, Pat picked up the game of basketball. Boy, did he ever. <laughs> Becoming one of the most sought-after recruits ever. Pat visited a few schools, including North Carolina, but Ewing picked Georgetown. Yeah, I think you liked big John Thompson, didn't you? Here's Barnett. Pass to McLaughlin. 
In the corner, it's Jordan. Worthy sets a screen for Jordan. Michael Jordan, what a leaper! Flying high, Jordan levitates. And here's Duncan. He'll bring it up for the Hoyas. Six-point game. Mike, when we take a look out on the court, so much talent out there right in front of us on the floor. Kevin, there are at least five bona fide NBA players in this game. Ewing, Jordan, Perkins, Floyd, Worthy. A star-studded championship game. Tar Heels leading by six. Here's Barnett. Jordan, right side. And Ewing with the block. With the entire country tuned in, Ewing playing up to his defensive potential. Impacting the game in a big way. Floyd passes to Ewing. And he drops it in from the low post. Eight points for Patrick Ewing. Nice pass. Floyd with an excellent feel for the game. Difficult to match up with defensively. Passes it to McLaughlin. Michael Jordan on the wing. Where they trying to break free. The shot's good from Jordan. Jordan's got his third basket of the night. Playing in his final game at Georgetown, senior guard Eric Sleepy Floyd with just about 2,300 career points. Floyd is the all-time leader in Hoyas basketball. That's good, and the Tar Heels' lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Ewing. Ewing's gone five of seven from the floor here. Here's Bacon, defended by Nash. Now the pass to Worthy. To the middle, here's McLaughlin. Great shot selection by North Carolina. This is a team that was over 60% during the regular season. Floyd passes to Ewing. Shoots a fader. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And Clark, the man they call Sleepy. Floyd is 6'3". And some kind of excitement for the Hoyas. Love the way he plays with such flair and enthusiasm and energy. He's the focal point of the Georgetown attack. And I really expect Sleepy Floyd to be a first-round draft pick in the upcoming NBA draft. He is a dynamo for sure. Yep. Floyd passes to Duncan. Now the feed to Green. Duncan left side. Here's Floyd. Barnett covering. Here's Ewing. They can't stop Ewing around the bucket. The conference freshman of the year. Guard Michael Jordan appears headed to Slaughter. Perkins is checked in for the Tar Heels. Adams comes in for Bacon. And uh, he's just had one attempt at the line early. That's good from Ewing. Pat Ewing, no stranger to the foul line, averaging almost five free throw attempts per game on the season. And he and Sleepy Floyd lead Georgetown in that category. Here's Jordan and Ewing with the block. That tight pressure D from Georgetown keeps on giving UNC issues. The Tar Heels having trouble getting shots off. And young Michael Jordan, born in Brooklyn, Clark, he grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina. And Kevin, this well chronicled, but Jordan didn't make his varsity basketball team until he was a junior. It's an indication of how everybody's journey to development is different. Michael used that slight, though, as fuel becoming a high school All-American. Michael Jordan won to keep tabs on as his career progressed. Well, Gastonia, North Carolina, a small town of less than 50,000 people, features two stars in tonight's title game. David Aldridge has more. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. Now, James Worthy of North Carolina and Sleepy Floyd of Georgetown both hail from Gastonia. While they grew up going to church together, they went to rival high schools. Despite James being highly recruited and Floyd going under the radar, it was Sleepy's Hunter Hess High that got the better of James's Ashbrook in the 1977 state title game. David, that is a great story and very interesting. Thank you very much. Hey, Mike, they say Gastonia, North Carolina, pretty much shut down tonight, all glued to the game. You are correct. <laughs> Everyone in that town is watching this game. 
Worthy with a chance to avenge the state title loss with a national title win. Wouldn't that be something? Mike, we're still in the first half, but Jordan's been fantastic so far. Jordan is not just scoring, but he's also been efficient, not wasting his chances. Back to Duncan. Kicks to Weber. Duncan left side. Pass to Bailey. And that comes off with the assist by Duncan. You can tell he scanned the whole floor and found the exact right guy to feed. Coach, freshmen are going to have a big say who wins tonight. We are just talking about that. Carolina's Michael Jordan, Georgetown's Pat Ewing. Fairly even thus far. It's rare in a title game to focus so much on the freshman, but Jordan and Ewing are special. Very special. Strong take by the All-American, James Worthy. The Tar Heels have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. And the Hoyas with some changes. McCray has come in for Green. Davis is subbed in for Weber. The Hoyas trail by five. Duncan up on top. Adams defending. Here's Ewing. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. This young man can carry the load for you offensively. And he can do it all night. Adams outside. Right side, Jordan. And North Carolina with another miss. And here's Duncan. He'll bring it up for Georgetown. Feeds it to Davis. Ewing trying to get open. And it's Davis missing. To the inside. Stolen by Ewing. Michael Jordan getting it done for the North Carolina Tar Heel. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter. And is showing no signs of fatigue. Back right after this. And as dusk descends over the French Quarter here in New Orleans, Louisiana, we're ready to go with the second half. With Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Coming to you live from New Orleans, North Carolina, and Georgetown. Tonight, we'll crown a champion. During this year's NCAA tournament, North Carolina is shooting over 75% in second halves. Some tremendous post-halftime play. Back to Duncan. Pass to McCray. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. Duncan's got his third assist on the night. Soft, puffy interior D, and they've exploited it. In the tournament, Clark, the Tar Heels over 75% after the break. How have they shot it so well? There are a number of factors, Kevin, but I think one of the primary ones is patience. UNC has that stall game, if you will. They're looking for the best shot, and they wait for the right shot. The experience of James Worthy, I think, helps them with that as well. It helps them a lot. Taking a look at the Hoyas, they've got Ewing. Nash is out there with McCray. Then there's Duncan, and it's Floyd in at the point guard. Ewing, the pass to Floyd. Here's McCray, worthy defending. With the fadeaway. Mike, for each school, a chance to make some history tonight. Georgetown looking for their first national title. UNC, they haven't won it all in 25 years. Here's Jordan. It's rebounded by Ewing. Duncan against Jordan. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. That's foul number two Second for him. Personal foul. Second team foul. And here are the Hoyas now. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Floyd passes to Ewing. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Hey, Ewing's jump shot is so good, you've got to respect it and close out on it. That time, a little too aggressive. The Hoyas shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two shots. Last on the first. 
Born in Washington, D.C., John Thompson is the perfect head coach for Georgetown. Big John was a great player back in his day. Backed up Bill Russell for two years with the Boston Celtics. Big John Thompson patrolling the sidelines, Clark for the Hoyas. What makes him such a great coach? Well, the players love, but they also respect him great. You marvel at what he's done at Georgetown. He's really built that program into a perennial power. Prior to his arrival in 1972, it was a perennial losing program. He's got the Hoyas right on the precipice of a championship tonight. He does indeed. A nice shot by Ewing. Ewing's got the lead up to three now for the Hoyas. At just a shade under seven feet tall, really hard to cover Ewing in space. Here's Barnett. Passes it to Jordan. Here's Barnett. Back to Jordan. High arcing shot. Do not test Pat Ewing. Wow, try someone else. We know the Hoyas like to pressure the ball, but they have to stay patient. Carolina is hunting for a mistake. In last year's title game in Philadelphia, North Carolina dropped it to Isaiah Thomas in Indiana, 63-50. A bitter pill for sure for these Tar Heels. Here's Floyd again, Georgetown. Sweet stroke. That's going to take Floyd a long way at the next level. Tar Heels trail by five. Barnett passes to Jordan. Here's Bacon, defended by Nash. Duncan against Jordan. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And North Carolina Mike dropping last year's NCAA championship game. It's a huge motivating factor for their returners. Guys like James Worthy, Sam Perkins. They said that loss fueled them during offseason workouts. Those are terrific college basketball players. Floyd passes to Nash. Here's Floyd. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assist. Nash has got three assists in the game. Tough hoop by Sleepy. Every basket he makes, Floyd rises up those draft boards. Worthy down low. Working on Green. Good on the bucket. Just a touch more aggression on the defensive glass, and that could have been prevented. Yeah, they've got to get physical if they want to prevent those second-chance looks. Floyd passes to Green. Here's Bailey. There's the pass to Ewing. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. Inside, Ewing has the advantage against the Tar Heels. He's got height, reach, hard to cut him off. The much talked about matchup of freshmen. Jordan and Ewing. Like it's been very close. While the two don't directly face off, they set the tone for their teams. We never say that about first-year players. Never. Since the break, Clark, a great job by Georgetown defensively. They're making things hard on the Tar Heels offense. No easy looks allowed so far. It's tipped. Stolen by Worthy. Here's Barnett. Pass to Worthy. And Ewing with the block. The seven-footer Patrick Ewing in the mind of the Tar Heel shooters. Pass to Bailey. Here's Floyd. Barnett covering. Here's Floyd. He has six. And there's the foul. It'll go on Patrick Ewing. That is his first foul of the game. Substitution on the court. Tar Heels trail by six. Here's Barnett. Back to Jordan. Perkins with a screen on Duncan. Jordan dishes to Perkins. Tries again, and it's good on the way. Good hustle from Perkins on the offensive glass. 
He knows how important it is to work the boards. Here's Floyd. Duncan outside. And stolen by Jordan. Here's Barnett. Passes it to Jordan. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Georgetown trying to get their first the national title. Two. This is a program that missed the NCAAs for 32 straight years. Just their second ever appearance in the Final Four. McCray is checked in for Davis. And so Jordan nails both of them. And unlike North Carolina, Georgetown was not considered a blue blood in college hoops. No, I tell you what, that changed though, Kevin, when John Thompson got hired 11 years ago. It did. Yeah, Georgetown was considered a small hoop school. Now, they are a premier program. A title would cement them amongst the nation's best. Their recruiting has been terrific. Nash kicks to Duncan. Nash outside. Here's Floyd. Barnett covering. Duncan, the pass to Nash. Out to Duncan. Green, left side. Nash, left side. They've had the ball for a minute. <laughs> a long possession. Another close one for North Carolina. They won their first game in the tournament by two points. Their largest margin of victory, just 10 points. And the pass to Jordan. Perkins with a screen on Duncan. Jordan Green with the block. Pass to Nash. Dishes to Green. Nash outside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Clark, we know that UNC has played in lots of big time tight tournament games. Is that an advantage? I think it certainly helps, Kevin. You can't dismiss or discount that fact. It's are comfortable and used to playing in close games. They have perfected late game composure and execution. Patrick Ewing's checked in for the Hoyt. How big has Jordan been for North Carolina? Up to the 20 point mark, ready for the moment. And another great look at the 2K drive. And the way he was able to protect the ball from the defense is incredible makes it look so simple. And Nash gets double team. Here's Duncan. Here's McCray. And he lays it straight in. And the Warriors lead by four. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. Jordan finds Worthy. Back to Jordan. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. On Patrick Ewing. Ewing. Something that makes Michael Jordan's performance even more impressive, he's only a freshman. And here he is in the starting five of the finals. Both good from the line that time. The defense keeps fouling him, and he's making them pay for it. Here's Foy. Barnett covering. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Taking advantage of the over-anxious D, Floyd draws a whistle here. Sam Perkins. Two shots. And he makes the first of the 1-1. Both shots good from a strike. On the offensive end, Floyd can be very impressive. He's already scored over 2,000 points in his career with Georgetown. Jordan, the pass to Barnett. Back to Jordan. 
Pass to Barnett. Now here's Jordan. Down low. Knocks it loose. Duncan outside. Pass to McCray. Here's Foy. Duncan, the pass to Foy. Here's Ewing. That one finds the mark. It's the tenth time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. Boy, the quick release on that shot from Pat Ewing. Tell you what, he'll be lethal if he can perfect the catch-and-shoot jumper. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. And that'll be his third foul so far. Boy, defensively, that's great anticipation. Moving his feet and drawing the whistle. Unafraid to put his body on the line. Floyd passes to Ewing. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And now it's an eight-point Hoyas lead. It's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand. And if you were hitting like he is in this one, you would be too. His efficiency has done a lot for them. And here are the Hoyas now. Floyd passes to Duncan. Here's Floyd. The pass to Nance. Here's Floyd. Well, at this juncture of the game, they want to hold it, uh, kill the clock. So the defense has to apply the pressure. And that one hits back iron. Tar Heels trail by six. Making the pass to Jordan. Were they trying to break free? Clutch points from Michael Jordan. What confidence we seen from the freshman. Look at the freshman. Jordan comes through with a timely bucket. To the paint. And Patrick Ewing with the slam. Tell you what, that one felt like more than two points. Ewing shaking the floor, firing up his Hoya teammate. Here's Jordan. Yes! And now they trail by just four. You would never know Jordan is a freshman. This kid is fearless. He wanted to take that shot. Pass to McCray. Ewing inside. Covered by Perkins. Foy passes to Ewing. Here's Foy. And that's an intentional foul. Adam Barnett. Line for two. On the free throw, no good. This might be the most important trip to the line in Floyd's career. Georgetown's all-time leading scorer. Left side, Jordan. Here's Barnett. It counts. What a beautiful shot to throw into within three. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. And they go to the intentional foul. Sam Hartman taking two shots. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Big free throws there, making this a two-possession game. Here's Worthy. Perkins trying to break loose. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. In crunch time, it seems every shot is for all the marbles. Worthy never waved two. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. No time to waste here. They've got to act fast right now. No room for error. They need to execute. Barnett, no good. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Adam Barnett, two shots. And that one misses. Mm -hmm. 
He's able to hit the second one, and that increases their lead to six. Twelve seconds left here in the second half of the game. Jordan dishes to Worthy. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. It'll be foul number five on him. So now he's fouled out of the game. Double bonus situation and two shots now at the free throw line. On the free throw, no good. And the second of two is good. That makes it a seven-point lead. First time in school history, Mike, the Hoyas are national champion. Coach John Thompson has his title. You just feel great for Big John, his players, guys like Sleepy Floyd in his final game at Georgetown, going out a champion. And for North Carolina, Clark, once again, so close. But with guys like Michael Jordan, Sam Perkins, they'll be back. Yeah, they're loaded.